Hey guys, Terminal Velocity here. <clears throat> and I've got a store for you while we go to Sweet Mountain. Which will not be a blind reaction because my, my PC of sh decided it would be a good idea to disconnect my microphone and set it to some sort of default thing where I don't know where the heck it came from. My PC has a built in mic or something? I, or my screens or what? But basically, the whole audio sounded like something I might put here. All my commentary was like, you'll you'll see if I if I remember to edit it in. This isn't the worst thing that happened that day. No, no. I so basically, um, GameStop stopped selling the controllers that I can use for my Xbox 360, the Xbox 360 wired controllers. Right? They don't have them in stock anymore. Not even like re refurbished. <clears throat> And the, the next best bet that I could that I could do on short short notice was to go to a V stock, aka Vincent stock, which is halfway, which is a, roughly a whole county away, the closest one. Sure, I could have waited for it on Amazon. Why isn't this? Oh, it's not plugged in. So I finally get my parents to drive me out there. And it takes a good hour, hour and a half, two hours to get just on the trip there, let alone to go and make the trip back. So, what do you think happened? What do you think they did? Next stop, the tropical resort. I'll give you a few seconds to, to think on it. From our giant Next stop, the Figured it out yet? Mountain. They sold me a literal piece of paradise. piece of trash. Literally, the controller day. worked okay. Like it didn't have any next controller drift, like my like this controller has. But it's it, it glitches the heck out. Like it goes on the first about like a bunch more than my than my normal P, my PC normally does. And by a bunch, I mean by a factor of 15 septillion. Yeah. On the opposite side, like, it just went back and forth, back and forth, rapidly, like I was, like I had an oil clicker on, which I don't, between the two, the two different menu versions, I figured it out, and it made it literally impossible to play the game. It was also sticky, and not like, not like gooey sticky, like there was candy, candy residue on it. No, it was, it was sticky like someone used the wrong kind of cleaning cloth on it. So your fingers go like, make like a little clicking noise every time you try to move them around on the controller. Which is not a good feeling. Especially not for a controller you're going to be holding for a while. Bottom line, I couldn't use it. So, I'm still using the, the controller I, I've been using. And yeah, we went through all of these. So, this won't be any blind commentary. Because guess what? I can't fix that audio because it's easier to just record to a single track of audio and video together. It's also it's, it's cheaper, more exp less expensive, and it's all around a easier solution to, to, to collecting footage. So I couldn't separate the audio and refine it. Without changing the entire both the game audio and this. Whoops! Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh boy. Oh, there we go. Wait, hold on. Let's hope this doesn't screw me over. Yeah, we can drift here. Oh, we've already heard that announcement. <laughs> that gets me every time. Oh, wait, we haven't heard it already. Because I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't. I would not put you through, through that, at, through the kind of footage that I collected the first time. I just wouldn't do that. It's unprofessional and just all around horrible. Like, you see that? I'm not, I'm, my thumb is off the D-pad here. It's off the D-pad here too. That's the that's that that's the kind of controls I'm working with here, and some of these later stages, if I remember correctly, like in Planet Wisp, oops, the the platforms get really small and really mobile. 
making platforming with, with sliding controls like this a nightmare. Change forms to drill through soft ground and chroma key. You can boost in drill form to go fast, but your power gauge will drain quicker. So you may think we're stuck in here now, right? Nope. The wish is coming to our aid. Like all these rings here. Yeah, yeah, that's actually an achievement here for not collecting any rings in, in, when you complete a stage. It's just called Harder Than You Think. These guys are waiting to ambush Sonic. But as you can see, it didn't work out too well for them. For these guys. If you walk in front of them, they'll just try to poke at you. So you can just steal from this way. Because we're in the background, this is a, I guess a 2D, or is it 2.5D? I, I never, I was always confused on that. Get off of there. See ya! Oops. I, I, is, that's a conveyor belt, right? Yeah, that's, I'm pretty sure that's a conveyor belt. So why are there spike spike traps on a conveyor belt? That's gonna use the spiky traps from Spawn Below Zero. Yeesh, I hate those things. Oh, I lost the ghost. Oh, I didn't know that. Thank I I I, I didn't think I could do that. It's not like I've been doing it the whole stage, right? Oh wait, I have. Oops. Oh, hold on. Hold on a second. I'm gonna try something really. I guess not. I guess I won't try that then. Is there something down here I can use? Oh, that's a spring down there, right? I think it. Yeah, that's a spring. I think I got that token. That was, that was a completely horrible detour that I shouldn't have taken, probably. Oh, park token's right there. Right? Yeah, that's a park token. Oh, wait, is that an extra life or a park token? Oops. Well, I guess we aren't... Are we gonna go down here? Yes, we are. No, we aren't, actually. I misspoke. Oh, I missed 100 rings. Darn it. And we're nearly to the end. I think. Believe it or not, I don't know if I've mentioned this before. Well, that was close. Oops. All the, um... Uh, why is there just a pipe full of anti-gravity jelly beans there? Whatever. All the, um, axes in each, in each area or each zone are all interconnected via a single United World. They're just divided even if you like get past them. And past like the goal area without triggering it, you would be hard pressed to get to the next area. 
even complete the next area because a lot of things like enemies and springs won't be loaded in. So you shouldn't be there. But there's an invisible wall blocking off between each area. Yet with wisp powers in some areas, you can actually clear that invisible wall. So that's a, at least in the original on the Wii you can. I say we need enormous. It's so hard to drift with the controls. I hate them. Oh look, Pocky. It's our Japanese biscuit sticks. A type of sweet from Japan. They have a lot of different flavors. Sort of like the like Kit Kats from Final Fantasy. Ever of wasabi Kit Kats? Yeah, that's the thing they have. I'm pretty sure only in Japan, actually. I think I just broke Sonic's tangles. Uh oh, that switch just moved to the Pink Man robot. I know there's something over there. Can't wait till we get to Starlight Carnival. Oh, did I? I guess I must have gone like. Wait, what the? Ah, a bully just dropped down. Oh, we, we need to go to start a carnival before we can get there. Actually, I want to get the, those whiffs. My boost stage is almost empty. Oops, I, I I always do that. I forget whether you're supposed to do the the pull your slide. Oh, I missed that card token and that one in there too. That's convenient. We have to have a red letter base sometime later. He just stops his boost in the air. He doesn't even want to finish breaking the record. Quite. Yeah, that's actually an achievement you can get here, too. Got to mention that. I can't believe I have to replay all of these because my recording was completely fucked. How, like, I don't even know how my computer did that. How it, like, switched me from my, my streaming mic to some... External audio audio source. Will be <laughs> what is my default mic? I'm like, can I change that? Oh, hold on a sec. I forgot. Hold on a sec. Oh yeah, this is a rocket stage, isn't it? Yep, it is. The rocket is so powerful, it can even let you smash through some ceilings. That, that, at least that went better than last time I did this. Last time I skied over right into the frame of an Eggman robot, I couldn't switch to homing attack for it. That's an extra life there. It's quite easy to rack up extra lives in games like this. For all science, not meant to be a difficult series anymore. Oh shoot, here we go again. Oh, no, we no. don't. I was gonna get egg beaten.
You gotta love how I can just equip these guys with instead of weapons or anything, this is equipped with giant egg beaters. Presumably to turn something into tasty, delectable whipped frosting. A lot of blue dye in it next. I, I would make a sign jam your joke if there was fruits involved. Oh shit. Oh, okay. I forgot this area existed. It's amazing. It's like truly astounding. If this was, it would be a sign was real. How he can survive direct impacts from candy missiles. You saw the, the how the blast from that explosion hit him. Right? That would blow a human apart. It would quite literally. It wouldn't just disintegrate them. No, it would splatter them just from the shock wave of something that big hitting the ground. Alone the explosion. Never mind the fact that those things explode. Aw oh, man. What the heck? Welcome to the Mountain. Did I? Oh, I already did this. Hold on. This man used to the... Yeah, this is Act 4, good. Act 4 of the Candy Comet. Mmm, candy. You know, if, if this is what the... What this planet... Of the, this planet actually looked like before it was... Became part of Eggman's Interstellar Amusement Park? But, what am I doing? I, I, I couldn't miss my window of time to go... Stop it, Sonic! Go through there. Um, yeah, I'd love to live here if this way it really looks like. This reminds me of... Wasn't there a level in Kirby Plant Robot that was just a giant factory? Oh, uh, shoot. I, I could have... Hold on a second. I'm gonna try something stupid here. I can't believe that actually worked. Oh, you can actually do a rainbow. I think you do the rainbow only attack when you're when you do that. It's like a mini quick time event that happens. It's sort of like the Sonic Forces thing that really serves no purpose of an of an player um player satisfaction, which of which provides very little for me personally. Hey, you're robots. Do not walk off the edge, Sock. Wait, hold on. Actually, I wanna go to the top path here. Yeah, you can do that. That's how you do the thing. It's like they're trying to teach me how to do the proper homing attacks. Oh, I guess I can't get up there then, huh? Some of these acts in Sonic Colors have a have a really bad habit of making you wait for the, for the level itself to, to carry you up, up or through it. Because I guess Sonic had say it had to have Sonic return to his platforming roots some at some point, right? I kind of think of it. I don't think any stages in the classic era were this slow. But there may be Death Egg Zone from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. The reason I say that was slow is because... It, because the final boss is so freaking difficult for someone like me... Ow. Who has virtually no concept of, of proper timing. Uh... I, I always just restart the zone, restart the entire zone, so I can just use Hypersonic to get, to get through the final boss. 
And, to do, and if you weren't aware, there, unlike in Sonic Mania, there was no cancel button. In the, the super form is automatically triggered the moment you you double jump, and the double jump is the same is the same input as triggering your your character ability, like Knuckles' glide, Tails' flight, or or um, Sonic's insta shield. So what ends up happening there is you can end up going super when you don't want to, and because rings are scattered all over the level, it's so easy to get. You just hear on loop repeatedly for the entire level, or until you power down. You have zero rings. So yeah, not only is there a flight cancel in that game. I mean, I, I, Vent about quite a bit. Um, there's no, there's no free to, freedom to trigger your super form when you want to. So once you trigger it, you're stuck like that until it, it either wears out, you die, or um, or, yeah, it, or you can lose the stage. For the act. If you're just trying to play a normal game, you're out of luck. Oh, trust me, I won't. There's a difference between candy and floor candy, as well as ass candy. When I'm not willing to expo explore firsthand. Besides the visual difference, of course. Like, have you seen what, what, what dropped candy looks like after a few days on the floor? It's not tasty looking. It's like covered in hair and dust and crud. That's the one kind of candy I don't think I'd ever eat. That and black licorice. Even, I kind of think of even black licorice, I, I, I can actually get behind eating. Oh, whoa, what the heck? Hey, yo! We go up here, not down. Oh, come on, Sonic! Are you, are you kidding me? Hold on a second. Oh, I see how that works. Thing, things appear that I can, in the ethereal plane, or ethereal plane, ow, that I can use to grapple. Basically like a discount ivory lightning from Sonic Lost World. Gosh, I love that game. And I hate it at the same time. I honestly prefer the 3DS version, just because you can go Super Sonic in the final boss fight there. What I like to do there is actually just use this is manufacture bunch of 50 ring capsules. Put them in my, in my um, equip item slot. Or is that super form? And then just be super the whole fight. The only thing that can kill you in that fight at that point is make is either running out of rings and dying to Eggman, or perhaps when he uses the asteroid. Look out for that giant explosive orb that he throws at you. Not only does it, it's not, it's worse than a spirit bomb, it's a black hole spirit bomb. If you're uncultured, in term, if you're uncultured enough to not know what a spirit bomb attack is, it's from Dragon Ball Z, most recently. Basically, the user puts his hands over his head and drops an explosive ball of better to play for the spirits of I I think like of their like allies. Why am I not using a homing attack? It just drops on someone. And those those things can get pretty darn big. Sweet spot only attacks, huh? So that's what those are. 
I like the concept. And that's how they do it with other games, though. The concept, like, colors here being in place. I'm going to get this red ring. I need to get out of here. Oh, shoot. Well, okay then. Note to self. Don't keep using that when you're, you're trying to go the opposite direction. Press that. I'll also show you the cutscene after this. And yes, that was one of those stages that loves to make you wait. It's more of a puzzle stage than that, though. This guy isn't gonna show himself until you take care of that ship. There's a switch in the back. In the original, you can actually use the drill here. Second, can I just move on with this? So can take care of that? Nope, I can't. Ow. There's actually a candy bullet that they shoot out occasionally. And using that, you could... You could... I'm pretty sure you could, like, two or even one shot... Captain in, uh, Captain Jelly. I have to deal with his cronies. Ow! He just bounced me! Rule of three. So what the heck are those are those cronies even? Are they just bouncing jelly beans? That was fast. Power down. Who the heck uses gumball in lollipops for orbs? Are you serious? That was that was weird, but we managed. Where is he? Hey! That's not nice. And the power's back on. Doing this really easily, really fast. I mean, over a factor's way to, to, to speed through this. Where is he going? But there he is. Oops, hold on. Are you kidding me? This guy doesn't normally give me this much trouble. I just imagine playing this on old cathode ray TV. Oh, there's the drill. How did I get that? Told you there was a drill here.
Really? Are you kidding me? How'd that not attack me? Really? Well, good thing we stocked up our extra lives then, I guess. Really? You're, you're kidding me, right? I'm trying to get that drill again. How? There we go. This is still holds true the original. We have three rings this time. Maybe that'll be enough. Where is he? Really? You slippery mofo! I hate you! That's cheap. Really? Are you are you actually kidding me? Is it just not gonna shoot the shoot the drill anymore? Did I waste it? Ow! Now we have zero rings again. This is gonna go great. Yeah. Let's get the rings over here, actually. How? Are you- I am not bad at this boss fight. This little- This little- This little diabetic- Pete- This- This candied diarrhea Is just- He's trolling me. He's I swear the game knows um um Really? He was right there. He, the, the the thing was right there. How do you miss that? You're a freaking drill rocket missile thing. I don't freaking know. Like seriously though, how do you miss that? How? I'd love to know. Ow! You stupid little bouncy... You bouncy balls! How do you miss that? How? Now I'm starting to get kind of pissed off. I would like footage of me getting this spot fight the last time. Or not Link, I'll just put, edit it in at the end. Eight minutes on this one boss. How? You fucker! This, this thing bounced right as I emerged. Do I have to boost into him? Why can't Sonic jump that high normal gameplay? Ow. Ow. And now 
we have zero rings again. Okay. This ship is just gonna be is just gonna create a giant crater for how fast it, for how it keeps falling. There we go. I'm gonna try to boost into it. Give me all those rings. Ah! Wow! That's gotta be an all time lowest score for me. Like, all time. Zero points. Zero. I, I, I wonder if I almost timed over in that. Don't act like you did something special, Sonic. Swung Blue Mofo. I'll show you the cutscenes that you probably that you obviously miss. Oh gosh, darn it! Press the A button instead of the B button. And I was doing good with this earlier in the episode. Next up, next up. an alien in need of saving, where would I be? Experience has taught me to investigate anything that glows. Experience has also taught me that the best way to solve problems is to kick robot butt. Visitors are cautioned to avoid feeding, petting, or saving any aliens. Uh, excuse me, giant killer robot. You want to do this the hard way or the easy way? <laughs> Somehow I knew you'd say that. Let's date. And this is one of my favorite cutscenes in the entire game, I think. Hey, Tails, you missed the BBBE. Huh? Best boss beating ever. So, is Yakker giving you any more information or limericks or whatever it is he's spouting? Well, first, remember, this translation stuff isn't 100%. Trust me, I remember. So anyway, these aliens are made up of a really powerful energy source called hypergoons. It's inside of them. Like a battery? No. Well, sort of. It's their life source. And you only got a taste of it. Look at what happened. Battery is sort of an understatement. The funny thing, it was first translating as horrible body odor. Anyway, it seems an evil man, and you might know him, who they call Baldy Nose Hair. <laughs> Baldy Nose Hair? That's the best thing I've heard all day. I gotta remember that one. <laughs> I know. I've already written it down. Anyway, he's I think they actually reused that gag in Sonic, Col in Sonic Lost World. And using it for an evil aquatic mammal? An evil dolphin? No, a porpoise. Oh, an evil purpose. That's good intel. Keep working on it. Hey, where are you going? To find Baldy McNose hair, of course. <laughs> I'm totally calling him McNose hair. Maybe, maybe consider liking, commenting, or possibly subscribing. It really does help the channel. And apparently, a whopping... I think it's roughly 98% of, of my viewers are not subscribed. I, I'd show you the statistics, but I'm too lazy to go and post that on my video again. So I'll see you next time.